The Senate, though they talk plenty for the B1, they say they want to take, make election debate compulsory for presidential and governorship candidate for the week. The B1, say Senator Buhari Abdul Fatai from Oyo State is sponsor. He see lawmakers as they shook their mouth for the need for candidates to show themselves, give the public, and talk their goals and plans for voters. The BOM said the SPSA will empower the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to organize by first debate for election candidates. He passed the second reading and the Senate and the Senate Committee for INEC to report back to the Senate for four weeks for more legislative workers. Sir, to give legislative backing for Independent National Electoral Commission to organize and conduct debate for all candidates into the offices of the President and Vice President of the Federal Board Federal Republic of Nigeria, and Governor and Deputy Governor of a state. This bill, if considered and passed by this allo chamber, will strengthen our democracy and bring it in conformity with the practice of other renowned democracy in the world. Mr. President, my distinguished colleague, this election debate bill, if passed into law, shall be used to sample the candidate knowledge on a wide range of issues, like detailed analysis of how they intend to drive the economy, foreign, health, and educational policies. What this bill tends to achieve is simply telling Nigeria, know your candidates. And it is high time that whosoever is going to govern us, be it at the state level, at the federal level, even to represent us in the Senate, to go through this process. One of the things that we have seen in our environment over the years is that our elected executives have always tended not to have social contract with the people because there is no face-to-face -face interaction. We want to be president, we want to be governors. What is your disposition over the safety of life and property? That's what you see in Section 13. What is your disposition towards federal character? It is only during these debates that we really can establish what these people are saying very frankly before the people. Hence, as a country, we need to grow. And part of the growth of democracy is to introduce things that strengthen it. Secondly, Mr. President, in campaign, everybody, in fact, the candidate may only speak for two or three minutes and it will just be a jamboree kind of thing. But specifically, when they are tested through a series of debates, it shouldn't be one debate, just like we see in developed democracy. It should be like seg segmented to cover key critical areas of the economy, I mean, of the country, economy, health, and other things, so that the candidate will be able to present to the employer who are the electorate their views. This is very good. I've said it, we've said it several times that look, let's learn from where others have succeeded so that we can also do the same for our democracy. So I support this bill. And I want everybody to support it. But where I think we should look thorough, thorough I mean, we should look very well to check whether it is uh, going to work is do we make it mandatory or it should be optional for anybody who wants to participate? Where I differ with the, with the promoter of the bill is that I think, given ANEC, <coughs> the responsibility of organizing this, this, uh, this debate is going to be very controversial. Because in most countries where they do this debate, they give marks. And the moment you allow Anne to begin to give marks to the candidate before the actual elections, then the, the, the whole the election is already determined before the date. So I think the best thing to do is to allow this debate to take place, but to allow an independent body. In America, CNN and other yes. private organizations, they, they, they conduct these debates. Yeah. So I think we should not give Anne this job. We'll get this, this job, the matter is gone. I believe that INEC has enough responsibility and to give INEC the responsibility again to organize uh, this kind of debates. INEC being a government body uh, could probably cause uh, uh, some difficulty in people, especially in opposition, participate. But on the whole, it's an opportunity really uh, for both the voters as well as contestants or candidates to present themselves to the people and for uh, the voters uh, to know who they are.